we did some experiments with uh, resveratrol, which is uh, one of the uh, ingredients of red wine, which is felt to be beneficial, uh, producing what's called the French paradox, a reason why French people don't get as much heart disease or coronary artery disease when they eat a very rich diet. We found very beneficial effects of the resveratrol. Well, uh, rather than just giving this substance, we thought we'd actually give the animals red wine. And uh, to see if it was the resveratrol or the alcohol, we fed another group of animals vodka, which is essentially pure alcohol. We like to do experiments in uh, pigs because they're very similar to, to the human heart and the human uh, blood vessels and the circulation. We feed the pigs a high-fat diet because uh, we found that this uh, more closely represents what uh, we see in patients. To our amazement, we saw the same beneficial effects in the red wine uh, as we did the resveratrol. For the resveratrol, we gave about 100 times more than we gave in the red wine. Uh, what was also surprising was that when we gave the animals vodka, which is essentially pure alcohol, we saw the same beneficial effects. But when we took a more close, uh, a closer look, we found that the mechanisms, the reasons why we're seeing the beneficial effects are different. In the red wine, we didn't see any more blood vessels growing, but we did see the blood vessels that existed they were dilated, so increased blood flow to the heart muscle that way. With a vodka, we didn't see increased vasodilatation, but we saw more blood vessels. So the beneficial effects seem to be uh, similar, but for different reasons. From the moderate amount of alcohol we gave the animals, we actually see, saw these beneficial effects. Now, if you look at it in terms of blood alcohol level, uh, if a patient were to ingest as much red wine or vodka, they would be drunk. They would be above the legal limit. However, I think the pigs metabolize the alcohol much more quickly, so they never even came close to the legal limit. We're not advocating uh, drinking a lot of alcohol to uh, cure your coronary artery disease, but there have been a lot of studies that suggest that a moderate amount of uh, ingestion of alcohol, it can be in the form of red wine or harder spirits or beer, is beneficial. I would recommend that if you are prone to heart disease, especially coronary uh, artery disease, uh, moderate ingestion of alcohol may be beneficial. But again, we're not advocating uh, drinking large amounts of alcohol in any form.